love veggies. I love veggies. I love veggies. Oh, hi everybody. It's Miss Gina. Well, I do love vegetables, veggies. And today I'm going to show you what I do with some of them, okay? Um, we're going to start with the with First of all, I'm going to show you my bowl. Come on over here and look at this. This was given to me um, as a gift by the Rauches, and it has the fruits of the Spirit on it. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Um, pretty, pretty wise words there, okay? So, we're going to start with the broccoli and the cauliflower, and I'm going to do some chopping. I'm going to have to look down quite a bit here, so I save my fingers, but... Um, what I'm going to do is chop these things up, and then I'm going to show you different ways to use them, okay? When I come home from the store, I wash all my veggies with some warm water, and then I spray them with the lemon essential oil that I have in water, about 20 drops of oil to that, or 15 drops to that bottle there, and I spray and rinse it. That's how I take care of my veggies. I know there's different ways that people do it. But that's my favorite way. I feel safe. And then we're going to cut up some broccoli here. Put those back. All right. And I was going to Google and find out the benefits of each of these vegetables. And I thought, you know what? They can do that. The biggest thing I want to encourage you to do is just have variety. The more variety, the more color, the more nutrients, the more vitamins um, you have in it. So we're going to put this in our bowl here. And I do this on Sunday. It can take me all Sunday afternoon to get the veggies ready, um, chop them up. It's quite a process, but then I'm done for the week, right? And then some carrots. And you notice I have all my things in glass now. Um, a few years ago, I went totally to glass as much as possible. Um, you know, environmentally, a lot of things have changed for us and um, causing some health issues. And we just have to learn how to be safe, right? So um, I pack our lunches in glass bowls now. So then we're going to chop up these carrots. And normally I would fill that a, a bigger bowl than that all the way up. And we'd use out of it all week, okay? And then we're going to work with the cabbages. So I have some green cabbage. And I do try to buy organic as much as possible. So a little more difficult. Um, I don't shop as many different places as I used to now, but for the most part, um, when I can buy organic, I do. And then I'm chop that all up. And then we also have some purple cabbage. Again, there's that color, right? The more color, the more nutrients you have. You need a rainbow of colors for your health. So let's stir this up and it gets real pretty with all the different colors. Let's take a close look there. See the pretty, prettiness there? Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make, uh, I call it my breakfast bowl, okay? And this actually is what I have for breakfast. Like who said we had to have um, cereal and pancakes and waffles and all that? Um, that's just um, set me up for uh kind of getting tired later on, but you know, I have these veggies and then I add mushrooms. These are the portobello mushrooms. Okay, and I do bring them home, rinse them off real well in that. And then we're gonna put a little bit of hot water on it here. And we're gonna let this cook while I work on some other things with you, okay? So we'll just put this on. Let that cook. Now let's work on some coleslaw. So we have this bowl here. Looking for my lid. There it is. I'm going to cover that up. That's not going to take very long. Okay. So let's make some coleslaw where we're waiting. For coleslaw, I like this chopped up finer. Okay. Get this out of the way. So coleslaw goes with just about everything, right? So 
little yummy. This is a little bit different with the broccoli and the cauliflower in it than a normal coleslaw. Okay, and then I do like to add these little peppers. They have some bite to them, don't they? I like to add those in for myself. Some people like to put a little sugar in their coleslaw. I, I don't like it real sweet, but you know, we all have our own way of how we make coleslaw. So we're gonna add that pepper. And there's also little red peppers. We'll put just a little bit in for color. Okay. And we'll put this in our bowl. Okay, and this is pretty simple. I add some of these um, herbs that you can get. These are awesome. They're like fresh. Sprinkle a little bit of that in. Okay. Add some salt and pepper. And yes, we do need some salt. Our body needs some salt. Okay. I'm going to add some pepper and salt. And then this is my favorite mayonnaise here. It's um, veganaise. And this is the soy free variety. So we're going to put that in there. And we'll stir that up. All right, and now I have coleslaw, okay? Well, today I was looking for how do I get my protein in? So I had some chicken already cooked. What I do, so I'm gonna explain how I do my chicken, okay? So we'll come over here to my Instapot and I take a frozen chicken, I get it out of the freezer in the morning and, and the young man here in the community, his name is Jim Jacobs. He raises organic chickens for us and they are amazing. I throw that frozen chicken in the Instapot. I cover it with water. I add some basil, some poultry seasoning, some oregano, salt, pepper. I actually put some avocado oil on it because there, there's not any fat on the chicken. So that helps it be a little moist, okay? And I let that, I pressure cook it. And then before I leave, I switch it over to the slow cook. It cooks all day long, okay? So then when I come home, I pull it all out. I pick the chicken off that's on a plate, throw the bones back in the broth, in the crock pot or in the Instapot, and then I let that cook on slow all night long. And then in the morning, we have three quarts of amazing bone broth. It has a lot of health benefits for you. It's really good just to um, drink or uh, I make soup out of it. Um, chicken noodle, makes really good chicken noodle, okay? So back to my chicken salad. So I, and then I freeze it in these little jars, so it's pretty handy. I was gonna say, after I pick all that chicken off, I have it on a big plate, I take my avocado oil and I sprinkle that all over the top, a little bit more salt, and with clean hands, of course, I mix that all up and then I put it into jars. It's so tasty. So then for my chicken salad, I'm just gonna cut this up a little bit more, add it to the coleslaw, And voila, my coleslaw turned into chicken salad. And that's pretty good. It's really good. Okay. So let's look at what's going on back here. Looks like I better turn that up a little bit. Get that cooking. All right. Um, we're going to make um, a salad. I make a salad for Jerry's lunch and my lunch every day. And what we do is take this basic mix here we have again okay and then I add some tahini to it and so tahini is ground up sesame seed it's in hummus okay but we just keep it plain um, put a little bit of that drizzle that on there okay it's a good source of protein um, olives I have green purple and black olives I chop them all up when I'm chopping so then I have those ready for the week. Add some olives to it. Um, we like almonds in it. So we're gonna add some almonds. Um, pumpkin seeds, sometimes they're called pepitos. We're gonna add those. And we get a little bit of salt. Okay. And then a dab of this veganaise. And then when it's lunchtime, you just mix it all up. And you know, I can't hardly wait for lunch for my salad. Okay, so now we just made a salad. Okay, let's come back over here and check our vegetables. Okay, and they're tender crisp now. So then I just pour the water off. All right.
right. And then I'm going to add the pot holder here. I'm going to add some olive oil. Now, I, I use olive oil when I'm done cooking because olive oil is not a high heat oil. If you heat olive oil, it um, turns it into something that you don't want. So when I'm done cooking, olive oil is good. It's good on salads, okay? Add that. I season it again. Um, sometimes I add a little garlic. Garlic is a good prebiotic for us. Sprinkle a little bit of that on there. Okay. And there... And then I add my um, scrambled eggs. And I, again, I do like six scrambled eggs, six eggs at a time for my scrambled eggs, because if I'm gonna make a mess, I might as well make one mess one time for about six different times, right? Okay. Then I just return it to the oven, or to the burner for just a little bit to warm those eggs up, okay? And now for a stir fry, I just take in a bigger skillet, um, that's where I would use avocado oil again because I'm heating it, right? Put the avocado oil in, in your pan, put your veggies in. I was going to tell you, like, if you're going to do soups and stir fries, you could leave the purple cabbage out, maybe have it separate and add it for cold salads. We're used to, it kind of bleeds out. It turns into, like, almost a different grayish color, but... If you want it to be real pretty, keep your purple separate, like for stir fries and soup, okay? But when I get all done with the cooking the vegetables in the bigger pan, and then this is the easiest way ever to make a stir fry, is I have liquid aminos, and this is, has some soy in it. So if you're not um, eating soy, they also have coconut aminos, okay? That's all you have to do. You stir fry your vegetables in some avocado oil, and then... Put this on top and you've got an amazing stir fry. And again, there's where you could add your chicken, you could add some beef if you're doing that, okay? So let me look around. Oh, wait, I, ha I wanna show you this here. So um, I have all my vegetables clean. These are my leftovers, okay? And what I do is I wrap them up in these linen towels that are so popular right now Instead of putting it directly into the plastic bag, I wrap it up in the towel, and then I stick it in the plastic bag and put it in the refrigerator. So now it's not all touching the plastic. That works for me. Again, everybody's different how they feel about all that, okay? So I think I covered everything, and I just want to encourage you to eat your vegetables. Um, they are so good for us. Um, and if you have any questions, as always, you can um, contact me, and I will see you another time. And you guys take care. Bye-bye.